Today I'm going to share with you my top three AI tools for creating images for card decks. Now I have a beautiful Taro Asian card deck that I absolutely love. However, it took me two and a half years. I had to work with an illustrator. I had to work with someone who knew how to use vectors. Then I had to get help on Photoshop. It was a lot of work just to make one single card. And that's why it took me two and a half years. I can't draw. And if you're like me and you can't draw either, don't worry, AI is here to save the day. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create pretty pages like card decks using Adobe InDesign and using Canva, but also using AI tools recently. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. I have an easy five step process for creating card decks using AI. Step one is just to find images that you love and I'll show you the three tools that I go to. The first one is right here and this is Lexica. Now, Lexica has done a fabulous job and it is web-based, which I really like. I'm not really a fan of Discord, but I'm getting to embrace it because it does put out some pretty great images. Um, so one, you can just put in whatever you want, hit the generate button, and you're going to get four different images. The other thing you can do in Lexica is you can actually just put the same thing but you can hit the search and it will come back with images that have already been generated by other people or lexica or i'm actually not sure where they come from but you can see the exact prompt that they use and so you could reuse that prompt if you want to get a, another iteration of that um i really like lexica the second tool i use is blue willow so blue willow is on discord so over here i've created my own discord channel or server with uh blue willow images and as you can see, they're pretty high quality and they the faces actually look pretty great. Um, and so I was thinking at first I was like, well, maybe we want to do like an Asian ninja warrior woman uh, for the card deck. So I tried out those images. I actually really like them. I think, again, they look pretty fabulous and there's no weird like extra arm or third eye or I don't know something bizarre sticking out I mean it still happens with the tools that I love uh, but less so it seems like with Blue Willow and Mid Journey. Um, so then I started doing couples in love. Yeah, this face looks a little creepy. I'm not sure what happened to that rendering. Uh, this looks like a rom-com uh, book cover and uh but it still looks great uh we have some more realistic faces down here um some more couples in love uh so lots of cool things that you can do with blue willow i strongly suggest giving it a try uh and the second option third option that was the second is mid journey so again mid journey tried doing some warrior women um i added the prompts fantasy uh and that seemed to kind of like upscale it more to what i was looking for um, and then I switched again over to Couples in Love over here as well. And I really liked these images. I thought they looked fabulous. Again, Mid Journey is one of my favorite tools. And yes, I do pay for it. It's totally worth it, uh, in my opinion. Now, the second step um, after you do that is you're going to pick some images and then you're going to create a border. So what I did in here is I asked it to just create a, a border pattern because you're going to need a border for your cards. Um, and then when you find a border that you like, just do the upscale over here and then you can download those versions and we can stick them onto a card. Now, before we leave the AI world, we, the third thing we wanna do is we actually wanna find a logo. Now, any of these tools will create logos for you, but what I'm really liking lately is Adobe Firefly. So Adobe Firefly has the ability to create text effects, like not the cheesy ones you're thinking of that PowerPoint and Microsoft Word did, but actually put some creative images in here so i really like this one so this is the one that we're going to go with now the fourth step is you're going to open up photoshop and you're going to go over here and you're going to going to say file new document and when it asks for the sizes you're going to change the dimensions over here to inches and my favorite card deck size is three and a half wide by 5.7 high and we're just going to go ahead and say create and we're going to go and drag and drop those images i'm going to show you how to do that and just to back up, I'm assuming you downloaded all of these images from the AI tool. So if you're inside Firefly and you don't know how to download, over here at the top, you're gonna see that little down arrow and that's how you download images from there. Really is easy inside of Discord to download any images. You're simply going to right click and say, save image and it will save it 
to your hard drive for you as whatever name it kind of came up with. So once you have all of those images, head back to Photoshop. I like to just drag and drop things into Photoshop. I don't try to overthink it. Um, and let me just make this a little bigger. There we go. All right, so let's just make our first card, which is the back of every card. It could also be the front card. And we're gonna have to drag this out a little bit. So I might wanna go back into the AI tool and redo the dimensions on this so it's more of a portrait size, but I'm pretty happy with this. All right, so that's the first step. The second step is I'm gonna drag and drop that logo that I had from before, the Love Taro, and we're gonna drop it here. So do I like this? I'm not really sure, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit that little eye icon over in layers, and we're gonna try a different um, one from over on Discord. We're actually gonna take this brighter pink one because it looks like it might be a better match uh, compared to this darker color with that logo that I just created with Firefly. And we're gonna drag and drop that one over here. And again, we're stretching it out a little, so I'll, I would have to go back and do the correct dimensions, but let's just check this out. That is a much better match than the other one. So I actually think these words are a little small, um, so I might want to cover them up. And also there's this little sort of weird image over here, so I would, I definitely would want to clean that up. So if I go into file shop, Photoshop and I just open that one image, we can kind of clean that up. Let's see, go, and I can go ahead. Oh, it's just the Adobe logo that's over here. And we can delete that. And now what I could do as well is I could just go ahead and I could arrange these um, two up vertical. And what I can do here is I can go ahead and make this really big. So it's way smaller. Oops, sorry. It's gonna be, I'm gonna make it so it's on two different lines. So that's the back of my card. I'm pretty happy with that. And now if I wanna make the front of the card, I am just going to say file, new image, same exact parameters for dimensions. And this time I'm gonna drag and drop. There we go. And then to save these, I'm just gonna export these as JPEGs. And then I can upload them to my favorite card deck printer and get those printed. So I'm pretty excited and I'm pretty happy with my card. So that is a quick and easy way for you to make your own card decks using AI tools and using Photoshop. You could, of course, could have resized this in Canva. I know some of you are Canva users as well. Um, so I hope that was helpful. It gave you some good ideas. Let's just recap that really quickly because I had five different steps for you. Um, the first one is find your images. I had three tools I showed you that I love. First one was Lexica, the second one was Blue Willow, and the third is Mid Journey. And then the second thing to do is create that border. And then the third one is to create your logo. And the fourth one is to make sure to download everything, put it into Photoshop. And the fifth step is to go ahead, export those images as high resolution JPEGs, and then upload them to your favorite card deck printer. Now, if you're wondering where to get those printed, I do have an extensive list of my favorite card deck printers available as a vendor directory free as a bonus inside of Planner Pixies. So if you would like to get that list, I will leave a link to Planner Pixies below. I hope everyone's having a fabulous and wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.